Good morning, Traders Edge with High Tech Trading Analysis. It's early on a Tuesday morning pre-market. I want to take just a brief moment to discuss uh, another one of my newest tools, One Click Trader. Now, it is not publicly available on the website yet, um, although I have offered it to several customers that have reached out. And I need a way of demonstrating its capabilities. This is an order entry utility. It is as simple as I hold a key down on my keyboard and click on the chart and I place an order. To demonstrate, I hold the shift key down, move my mouse anywhere I want on the chart, click, and I place a sell limit order. Now, if I was below price and I click, it's going to be a buy limit order. There's nothing to think about here. You're going to hold the shift key down and click, and it's going to be a buy or a sell above or below price. Simple, simple, simple. Alt key. Alt key, hold down, click, click. Be stop market orders. Hold the space bar down, click. All orders on your chart will be canceled. So shift is a limit. Alt is stop, space bar, close. If I were to hold the escape key down and click, I automatically market order into the market. Real simple, easy way to put orders on your chart. Again, hold the, the shift key or the space bar down and click. I'll exit this position. Now, I will exit that position with a market order. Okay, so depending on where your bid and ask is on the dome or on the ladder, that's where you're going to be getting in and out. In the drop down, I give you an icon. We can enable and disable the mouse clicks through the drop down. For my entry order, market if touch, okay, we used to below price shift click, it would be a limit order. Now, with that checked, this is always going to be a market of touch order. Still going to be a sell. Still going to be a buy. Just going to be a market of touch if instead of limit. In the bar down here, there's a, a CA or cancel all open orders. Okay. This is going to be different than if I use the space bar. If I use the space bar and click on the chart, I'm going to go flat. Let's come back to the drop down. Um, cancel on flat. What I've done here is that I'm in a position, right? So now let's just say I'm going to, let's say, let's just be stupid and say you're going to add something there and there and you're looking at something like this, right? You've got all these on here. Now, if I would just decide to go flat right now or put another order on here and let this stop me out if this comes up to here, all these orders would normally be left on my chart. What this allows you to do is once this can't, once this fills and I go flat, all of the rest of the orders on the chart are going to go flat as well. Allows me to clean up the chart and not think about whether I've left an order on my chart. Be very careful turning that on. You might or might not want to use that. I mean, if you're in a long position now and then you said, okay, I want to, I'm going to buy here for a breakout, but I'm, but I'm in a short right now and I'm going to let it stop me out here first. Once I get stopped out, this order is going to get canceled. So you can't necessarily have a multitude of orders on your chart at one time if you're going to use that. Okay, and the pull down. Um, show order buttons, as you can see. We'll talk. I'll talk about this here in just a second. And show chart trader info. Okay, so if we look at the chart trader, we can see that our account is SimTest1. We have no strategy. Now, I, I need to maybe talk about this for a second. This, show chart trader, okay? So we're showing chart trader one. Right now it says no ATM, 
good till canceled because this is all what's here. Sim 1 in the parentheses 1 quantity. So the reason why this says no ATM and not the ATM that's being displayed here is because we do have to allow ATMs. ATMs are going to work just a little bit different through the click trader than they are through the chart trader. Let me explain. While NinjaTrader does allow us to submit an ATM through add-on code, it does not allow me to trade around that position. Meaning, I can place, well, let's just do it. Uh, we're going to come over here and we're going to say allow ATM. Notice automatically this comes down and tells me what ATM is selected. No ATM means this is unchecked. Once that's checked, this is always going to show me what I have selected down here for the ATM and which ATM it is. Currently, if we left click on the chart to say, okay, I'm going to buy right here. Now, I cannot with just these settings. There is a multi ATM and that's kind of what we're discussing now with just the ATM allowed. I'm allowed to put one ATM if I click anywhere holding any key other than the space bar, which just closed that. The one click doesn't work because I can only put one ATM on. In Chart Trader, you can actually buy a market, place an ATM, and then add and subtract to that same position. In code, I cannot do that. So once you place an ATM on the chart, there's not much else you're going to be able to do from a one-click standpoint. Now, in saying that, we can use the drop-down and allow multiple ATMs. Now, watch what's going to happen here. Uh, let's just say that we came down here, we wanted to buy one here. This is going to allow me to put another ATM on, but it is not going to have anything to do with the current one that's on the chart. It's going to be completely separate. I have two separate ATMs running. Okay, so as you can see, doesn't work so great with ATMs. Don't use it with ATMs. The reason for its design was to be able to quickly and easily place the orders on the chart where I want them. So I would either have this on none, and that is pretty much the same thing as just turning these off. Uh, okay, so... Simple and quick. Now, if I had an order here on NQ and I had an order here on ES and I hold my space bar down and click on the chart, it's only going to flatten this particular account and that particular instrument. These buttons are only going to affect the instrument that you're on and the account. If this was an NQ chart, Okay, and this was on SIM 2, and this was an NQ chart, and this was on SIM 1. Let's just make sure. Notice that I don't see. It's not going to affect each other. You're using two separate accounts. Same thing would be for instrument. Okay, so the buttons down here at the bottom. We, we can hide those buttons if we want. If you don't want to see the buttons, don't put the buttons. If you don't want to show what Chart Trader is, 
Don't show her what chart trader is. We just use our drop down and can easily show and hide those whenever we want. Buy is going to buy market order, sell market order, reverse position. Now, this reverse is actually going to flatten your current position and then get you in in the opposite direction with two separate orders. This flat is going to, to cancel and flatten everything on the chart. Cancel these, the CA over here on the right is going to cancel any open position. So if you're in a position and you've got a bunch of orders on the chart and you just want all of them to go away without actually getting out of the position, we click the CA over here on the right. Or the OCO order, if we click that, and that's highlighted blue here, if I were to say, okay, I want to play the, the breakout there, or I want to play the breakout there. With Once one of those gets hit, the other one would cancel itself. Uh, but if you cancel either of these orders or anything to do with that one OCO, you'll notice that my little button here changes back to its normal color it is no longer activated down here and you have to activate it itself there is no automatic to it to where you click the OCO click once click twice and then this automatically resets itself I can't tell what one wants to do with an OCO and and you could have multiple orders on your chart all working together I let you do that once you cancel one it's going to cancel them all and it's going to turn your thing back Okay, what do we have left? In the drop down, we talked about if you don't want, you know, this is, we, we can turn that off and no, no mouse click will work for order entry. Your buttons are still going to work. Your mouse clicks aren't. Kind of a safeguard up here. One more safeguard you have is you can middle click my icon up here in the top. And this is going to turn the indicator completely off and hide your buttons and your chart trader information. So whether this was on or whether this is all hidden, you can't want, if you middle click that button, you turn everything off. Oh, execution screenshots. Um, okay. So with that on, what I do is I take a screenshot every time your position updates every time we get an, an execution documents ninja trader 8 templates indicators one click trader here you're going to find any of your chart if you've saved any templates for the indicator this is the folder you would find those templates in but I also now add another folder called screenshots. And if we look in this screenshot, we can see this is an entry. This was our first entry we took just now. This was the exit. You can see that. I name it by the account, the, the symbol, the date, the time, whether it was an entry or whether it was an exit. So we can go back and look at, you can go back and analyze your trades. Th this isn't as great as I was hoping, but it does give you an idea of when you got in a trade looking back. Now, the screenshot, as you can see, is taking a picture of my entire desktop. If you are using a multiple monitor desktop, this is going to take a screenshot of all of it, all desktops, not just one. I had this situation on the last setup that I had. I was using a 4K, I say 4K, I was using a TV for a 4K and uh, two other monitors. And I have a way of isolating just a particular monitor. I'll look at implementing that in the, in the, the future. But in your templates, in your indicators, in one-click trader, under screenshots, you'll find all those screenshots. If you do not want 
Whoops, wrong icon. If you do not want to take those screenshots, don't turn those on. If that's on, make sure you go back and organize those. I don't know what the size of each of those are, but they, they will take up more space than uh, normal data files up probably. Also, um, what you might want to keep in mind is if I've got that on, make sure that you only have this on one of your charts. It, same with uh, cancel all flatten. Again, if this was in queue and just a different time frame of this, we wouldn't want both of these charts to cancel all or execute screenshots. You would, you would get two of each, right? This chart would take it. This chart would take it. You only need one. Now, the reason why this is all in here is because you could have multiple tabs going across. If it's in a, if it's in a tab that's not shown, that's not active, it doesn't matter. What we want to prevent is the same settings on the same instrument of the same account that are active. Let's look at the indicator properties just real quick. One-click trader. Again, I, I, this is a warning. This is going to submit real orders. I am not taking responsibility for anything, for anything, for anything. Got it? Cancel orders on flat. Again, if, if I'm in a position and I end up going flat for whatever reason, all the rest of the orders on the chart are going to cancel. I can turn it off through this checkbox. I can use market of touch orders if I want. There's your allow. All of this is available in the drop down. Your order bar. Now you can, these buttons here, I do allow you to stack them on top of each other instead of going across the bottom. Um, you would just click uh, rows versus columns and that's going to put them over here. I guess I, I don't use it this way. I need to fix this when it's set for that so that these are full length boxes and I can do that. Oh, the offsets. Um, okay. So if I hover over this, it says the order bar offset left, top, right, bottom. We want the right. How far from the right do we want it to extend left? That's what we're looking at here. Right and bottom. How many up from the bottom? How many left? Same down here for the chart. I have these just offset just a little more. That might take some adjusting. Um, and that's all. I, I mean, pretty much everything except for your offsets is available in your drop down. All right. Sorry for being long winded. Take good care.